Hey guys, this is Jacob, and I'm here with my co-host, Cozy. Hello. And this is essentially going to be a podcast series that we are going to be doing about various topics. Probably going to be UAC centralized, but I guess we can see how it goes. Depends. And for this episode one, we're going to be here with our first guest, Acid Viper. Hey. Hi, hey, Acid. How's it going? Great. So, <laughs> 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 our episode is going to be about different cheaters in the UHC area and essentially the impact of them and also some YouTube stuff that's been going on about them currently. So, yeah. Kiosi, okay, so you want to get into it? All right. So, how would you guys uh, like to intro with this? Would you guys want to start with all the different types of cheats? Sure because I've seen a lot lately that I've never seen before. <laughs> okay, so what are some cheats right that we away. can just list off right away? There's X-Ray, Reach, <laughs> I wonder who's been doing that lately. <laughs> yeah, so essentially, we just had this leaked video on YouTube about Tabor, who is like this 100k sub YouTuber X-Ray on Hypixel. And he was <laughs> live streaming it. <laughs> During That's live the streaming, best part about it. Off. Yeah, um, there's a form post on Hypixel about it, but let's uh, focus on cheaters in general for this. Since Hypixel isn't the main focus of this podcast. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. It's getting bad. Like, it was a lot worse, I believe, but it's still bad, to be honest. So. I mean, when I made my form post about the anti cheat situation earlier, I noticed that there were some comments about how we need cheaters to keep the UHC community alive as they make up a solid chunk of it. Which that makes interesting. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense, but it also as... makes no sense. Let's say that. No, it makes sense because a large group of players are hackers, but they also draw away other players from yeah. playing the game. So I guess it just kind of it evens out. I hear I that a lot. I hear that a lot. But do they really though? Because like before I, mean, I really stopped playing Hypixel for Reddit for the most part. As of now, I like I said that, but I not really. I really didn't. I ever. It's just I think treaters are just always gonna be part of it. Ever since Turtle was it Turtle that had it that started it all like a few years ago. I wouldn't say necessarily oh, he started it. Uh -huh. Well, he started, like, he would like cheat and then posted was... something about it, and then all the stuff happened. Did so. it get deleted though with like his one, like face clan and some other YouTubers that were cheating? I don't know. Uh, like, yeah. All, yeah that, literally, when I first started Hypixel, there was like no cheaters at all. Like, I would see one every like maybe 10, 15 games once in a while or something. But now it's basically, oh, look at this. He's a cheater. Oh, look at this. Next game. Oh, cheater. Cheater. Like, cheater. I, I feel like the way that you have to play at least high pixel you see is that like you need to play in a mind that there's going to be cheaters in it and you have to figure out. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. I mean, how to get around it to have a higher chance of winning. For example, mining longer is a good strategy because it gives them time to get uh, reported. Right. Well, like players. if they, quote unquote, if they do get banned, most of the time they don't. So. But so yeah, mining don't, but... or just getting more stacked than the cheaters or being friends with mods. But another, yeah, <laughs> being, being friends with mods, mods is a big part of it, <laughs> which kind of leads us into how some mods and helpers aren't incredibly helpful because sometimes yeah. they'll only respond to friends. Yeah. Which well, I think it's, it's, it's I a think... difficult situation because helpers can't necessarily do Like, okay, there are some exceptions. Like, we used to talk to a helper a lot named Hiroki, and he would actually. See, sometimes he would actually get mods and they yeah, would Yeah, he was ban very, very... Even for a helper, he was super, super helpful. Because what is he? Isn't he like an 8 or 9 star? And for people who don't know or don't play Hypixel, that means he has like, what, 8,000? Or not 8,000 score, 2,000 and... I don't know anymore. I, I lost don't. count. <laughs> I think it's like... No idea. 2,500 something. Which means Somewhere. he has like... A Terrible amount of kills and ones. Yeah. So he definitely he's a part of the community. He's a big part oh, of it. He's and been part of. He's like everywhere. Yeah, same now. with like Gecker people like oh, that. They've played the game. Well, it's also me. Gecker and every e boy wants her. So. so. <laughs> like we like, were talking about earlier with the strategies for avoiding cheaters, where um mining for longer. Uh, that's why on Reddit and high pixel servers, um, Boeing has become oh, the main yeah. thing. 
People don't well, I mean, melee as much as they used to. Well, on Reddit's they still do, yeah. but on Hypixel... It's not as bad on Reddit's for bowling spam. Because, like, yeah, single well, that's, servers that's are thing, worse than others. The main separation is that not only is Hypixel a mini game server, which you have to keep in mind with all the crafts and shit like that, but also you have to realize that just the fact of having a host in the UHC and spectators yeah. is a huge, huge difference between the two. Oh, yeah. Yes, because Reddit's completely dedicated to the UHC. It has multiple spectators, or at least, at least one or two, one or two the yeah. host. It has the host, multiple spectators, people answering questions rapidly, help up, and just issues being resolved quickly. Whereas Hypixel, on the other hand, has we got a... Nothing. <laughs> it has an alright staff team size, but very it... few actually actively participate yeah. in UHC or care. And Watchdog just doesn't do its job, so yeah. that's why we have to... It's up to the players to spam reports until a mod gets it, or that's just somebody why I think that's UHC guilds are super it. helpful now, because, like, ever since... I think a lot more UHC guilds have actually happened over the last two years, and they are so much more helpful, because if there's, like, 20 people online, they can all Watchdog the same person. Like, that's how it is my guild most of the time, anyway. Just large groups in general, Watchdogging yeah. one person gets mods attentions i have no clue if a moderator gets a ping or something when a player's been reported more than like five times or something yeah or if it's more than that but like but... if a single person gets like watchdog like 10 times by like 10 different people then there's something wrong with that person. then it draws attention yeah, but if course. it's just one person decide to watchdog a b hopper and the others just don't care enough to do so or no. they don't have a mod on, mod on their friends list or something that p b hopper gets to be hop for the rest of the day without getting caught and maybe the day after that oh yeah there's been b hoppers that gotten almost like four star in a single That's day true. i think and like yeah, they'll get banned a few hours later and i'll be in like a random game mode or something it's like oh look this guy just got banned it's like he, uh, he be hopped on me like four hours ago. It's like, and also, I want to I want to um, add the point. Well, the guilds are also good. There's also guilds like OFN, for example, yeah. that are basically communities of people helping each other cheat and also boost. Be blatant about it too. So. Boosting or um, helping, whatever you want to call it, is essentially where you team with cheaters to get free wins and free stats. Yeah, which is really I've annoying. Heard an interesting argument, I think X Hockey was when you said this, which was that stats are actually hurting UHC, and if there was no stats, UHC would have less cheaters and stuff like that. I kind of, yeah, because and a lot of higher stars are getting boosted now, because ex especially with the MVP plus plus nicking thing, I, a lot more, there's a lot of cheaters also that are nicking, and it's like right, there right, can right, be which, blatant people which, that are. Which brings me into something else, which I've experienced quite a few things. Times, just MVP plus plus cheaters, but also known players that are just like players in OFN that you know are cheating. Oh yeah, but mods won't do yeah, anything. Probably. People like IP Chicken, he rarely ever gets banned whenever he's on an account. Um, Beast Pete and people like him. Oh no, there was and... a three star in that guild that was in this game where she and another person from that guild—I forgot what their names were—but they were like the per he was a three star, by the way. Who yeah. had a 50 KD in solo? They had one death, <laughs> like four wins, and 50 kills. It's like very, that should set impressive. off something. Very, very, very. Because impressive. nobody's that good. Not even like the best high pixel person. No one's that good. I know Tyler's had a 15 KD, but like that's Tyler's. But let's so. a 15 KD, not a 50. Yeah. I I believe the highest KD right now for somebody who still consistently plays is Horse Cup. Yeah, well, isn't it like over ten right now or something? Well, it's like twelve. Yeah, horse Cup is like a few years ago. No, know. he still plays. I saw him in a game earlier today. I don't. Does um, he? I don't think he cheats. I don't know though. I, uh, know, which brings up an interesting thing. Um, closet cheating versus blatant blatant, cheating. Yeah. That's the reason people don't get banned because they're closet cheating. And that's and not mods super need, obvious. So you're unless you're b hopping or reaching seven blocks, a mod won't ban you. Yeah. At least you can fight closet cheaters, though. Closet Most cheaters, time, yeah. you have a chance against. Yeah, you have But more at the of a same chance. time, it gives them an extreme advantage in a situation where you probably would have won. They have the upper hand now. Yeah. But with horse kit, I don't. I'm never people sure with people, but like he is really good with the horse. 
to be honest. No, he's insane on the horse, uh -huh. and I don't deny that. Yeah. But he teams with cheaters. Yeah, I know that oh, for dude, sure. He gets boosted. <laughs> the <laughs> monkeys. He is Shady Oak, right? He is Shady Oak? I have, yeah, no, it is shady. It some is people shady. say it's not. Some people say it's you. No one knows. Some sure. people are, people keep on saying it's water and a melon. I've been in a call with oh. him. I know it's shady. I've teamed uh, with really? him. That guy is super shady. OG. That guy is incredible. Water, I remember, cool. like, I think it was junior year. And he I was, got, like, he got talking about him. Because I made a forum post about, I wonder who's going to hit 15 star first. Is Watermelon or Sabaden? I remember it had, like, like 2,000 views or something. And, like... 500 plus comments or something like that, I think. There, it was a lot of fighting in it, too. Oh, good old days. Sabaden, I think, yeah, Sabaden was my middle school. I remember that. Sabaden. <laughs> that was interesting. And then he got banned. Watermelon got banned. Who else got banned for higher yeah, stars? Oh, Terra Combos. I, yeah, I remember him. Like Zorg and his cronies. Yeah, that whole entire <laughs> group, he died. That was really But then, like, the new wave of cheaters came, and then, like, now look at that. There's over a thousand nine stars now or so, right? Oh. I believe. No I believe so. Or somewhat close. Oh. There's, like, a thousand players in UHC, so. Mm, not over time, though, because there's been a lot of people. But, I don't know. I so, I how. We've been talking a lot about reach cheaters, b hoppers, and stuff like that. But we don't really talk about x rayers. I understand oh. that they don't affect high pixel players because x ray just simply doesn't work on there. But, um, Reddit servers, on the other hand, most of the bans that staff experience are from x rayers and just people who are really blatant. But the ones with sense that actually know how to avoid getting banned or just, like, listen. It's, um, it's, they don't get banned, and they just go and they cheat, or they use their cheats, I guess, if you count what they cheated to receive, like their diamond armor, their good things, and they, yeah. they just cheat on other people. And there's no, there's not really such thing as non-blading x-ray. And then like, some people just say there's, quote-unquote, no x-ray on Hypixel, which, yeah, there's like an anti-x-ray thing, but... I the think... closest you're gonna get to X-ray is K find on yeah. Pixel, and I don't. That's not the. I get. I guess when you get banned, they group it up like X-ray dash K find, but I think they're two separate things. Yeah, they definitely are. But yeah, we gotta love cheaters on Hypixel and well, it's not just Hypixel though that got hit. Mindplex, okay. there's literally Mindplex people are like I've been in a game of uh the. The mob one, what I it's been a long time, but there is literally a guy just flying blatantly for like twenty minutes straight, and I was like, why? It's like it's That's so blatant. Man. Isn't like yeah. the high, the mindplex one called Gwen or something? Uh, Gwen, Gwen the Guardian or whatever. Yeah, yeah Gwen is like really good though. Yeah. Yeah, but when someone gets banned on Mindplex, seeing Gwen like shoot the beam and then start spinning around them, that's satisfying. <laughs> that's uh, that's an anti cheat I yes. can get behind. Speaking uh, of anti cheat and with the fly situation you mentioned, just how don't people who are blatantly flying or b hopping at such an incredible speed they yeah the watchdog? I think it should tick off something. Yeah, watchdog anti gaming chair or gaming chair and then other anti cheats. They just don't succeed. Mm -hmm. Wait, was it Jacob? I don't know if it was with you, but I was in a game, I don't know, a while back ago or something, and it was during deathmatch. And um, there's this guy. We flooded the whole entire middle of zero or like mid because duh, oh, there's was, a was cheater. Like, I was like cross healing with that one solo. We had no healing and stuff. Yeah, but he got killed because he targeted us. But the B hopper went for him. Blah blah. But the B hopper literally flew like. 15 blocks above us or something for like i don't know a few and minutes or so and yeah he like then we just bust him to death like yeah there are ways to kill them but like still when people are flying 15 blocks above the ground that's a big no-no which once again yeah. reinforces the idea of the bell meta Mm -hmm. probably why apprentice bow is so insane it, well yeah because especially if you can see cn they shouldn't nerf it because without apprentice build, there's there's no consistent way to be able to reliably fight someone without the risk of getting beat up on. Yeah. And even then, you still will. But like, that's like 
And here, the worst part is, even if you dig down, you will get hit through blocks, which is oh, yeah. one of the worst, one of the, one of the most annoying ways to die. If you think somebody to be off is gonna hit their blocks. Hit their blocks or people flying on you. And then, or just going straight through water. Oh, that's always fun to watch. Or scaffolding. I think scaffolding's the most satisfying to watch, just to be honest. Or just when yeah. you finally built up, thinking you've avoided the cheater, and then, and then they you just, look down at just them and they just build fly straight up. It's like, oh, look at it. that. It's it's bad. It's uh, annoying. And but like, kind of love those YouTubers. And like, especially like, no, I've seen this YouTuber. Uh, his name's like Koala or something. Uh, and he was basically recording games over like games and games and games with like Hypixel UHC and other servers or something. And, like, he's just posting them on there. It's like, oh, look at this. I got, like, 33 kills in a solo game. It's like, how does... How? Like, what the heck? Like, why do people... Really? Yeah, like, blatantly. He was flying. He was teleporting. It was insane. And, like, there was people, like, saying in chat, I believe, that's like, oh, look at this guy's B-hopping, watch dog, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, he never got banned. He won the game, too. It's like, that's stupid. <sighs> that, well, I those think games trigger me. I, I think if there was only stat, like if there's more statless USGs, there would be less cheaters. Honestly, not only less cheaters, but just less toxicity in general from people raging in chat when you kill them. Oh or yeah, like I think we're all, we've all done it. <laughs> Hi, look at me for Everyone example. I'm not. One I'm not as bad as some people though. Let's be honest with that. I know Badline used to have. Um, they used to have stabless skins, and they also had like an amazing any sheep, but that's not something we can really. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> GG was us sending though. Yeah. Which people people it's have been nice. arguing because of this cheater issue that there should be games that are sectioned off to be only people who are on bad line client can play. <laughs> Jacob. I think it makes sense. Or, like, some sort of, like, maybe, like, Hyperion or whatever. I like, know. yeah, I would understand but, that. But, like, if Hypixel was been thinking about that, they would have made their own anti-cheat or whatever by now. Like, they have they have that, Skull yeah. Project, but that's, like, the only Hypixel client thing. Uh, yeah. I use Skull Project. Skull Project's got a... It's fun. He is Hyperion consistently. It's good. It's good. I like Hyperion. Okay, well, uh, Acid, I hear that you are leaving. So. Yeah, that's true. So I'll see you guys later. Have okay. a good day. Have fun. Right. Bye. See ya. Okay. Hello. Now it's just us. Okay, with. Yeah. It's just insane how YouTubers are just basically be hopping on, like, recordings yeah. now and then okay, posting think... them. As as the final topic, I want to talk about the false bans as well because it's oh, incredibly yeah. infuriating. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, we were mentioning a Tabor earlier who was banned. Like, it, there's literally a video of him uh, cave mining to water and stuff like that. Yeah. Another YouTuber, Doomed Cow, got false banned on Hypixel with evidence of his false ban, and it, yeah. he was not accepted to be to his appeal. Uh huh. So it's yes, like, we all okay. know Doom Cow does not cheat at all. I also personally, I think around uh, around two months ago, I got false banned in a game of Punch Out, which is an arcade game. Which is literally your pigs on ice. Which you would snap at people around your fist. It's like, isn't stupid. And when I appealed, they denied my as well. I had to wait an entire month because they changed their like amount of days you get banned just uh -huh. a while before. I don't think I've ever gotten false banned. I don't think so. Unless I just I never paid attention, that. or I have no idea. Unless it was just a different reason or something. But yeah, especially with that Tabor evidence. Oof. It's like, Man, I, I've, I've heard I people know, like saying, it's like, no, it's just a glitch. It's like, hi, I've been playing this for closer to four years yeah, now, and I've never seen a glitch like that. And I've pressed F3 probably half a million times or something. Thing you could do that is like the FOV with like 150 FOV, and even that is like. Not but you also have to be an F, uh, an F5. He wasn't an F5. You have to be an F5 and stuff. But you like you don't, you don't, like okay. No matter what, you you never only see water. You see blocks. And oh yeah, you see like never... actual caves and lava and water and mobs and blah blah blah. Yeah, and ex like, well, with know. the F3A glitch, like that glitch, he did not do that either because hi i use that constantly because it helps so much if you want to find like, like a mob or something oh it's so helpful but then also like like you could tell that um that like it wasn't like a big guy instantaneous f3a 
Yeah, because you literally have yeah. to spam it. It depends on what pack you also use, because certain packs don't let you do it as well. That's what I figured out over the you like year I've been using it. And then C counter, oh, that's my best friend on this or like any that's server. That's the one difference between how they sold them is Shemine is that like since since you can't get banned for Asher no matter what, because like there's no way that yeah. Like, you could also, there's no specs, like, bring up the Reddit thing again. It's like, they always have at least one spec. Because, I like, mean, how you hosted the game, because you hosted a Reddit, and I, oh, I hosted one, and I had two specs, I think. You had three specs on yours. I was specking in your game. And Ooh. there was blatant That's cheaters. Sick. Oof. That was exciting to find. There, there's... I saw some people at the East Pittsburgh and made a forum post about, like, Having designated staff members to potentially host Yoshi. Which yeah. Or when you're aware that that's ridiculous, however, now that the game already gets over a thousand players. Oh, yeah. I think UHC is starting yeah, to like to br come players. back ever since, uh, I think basically October of last year. That's I came back in like, I think August or September. And I it I wasn't Minecraft as. Yeah, Minecraft in general. Because it was always. For well, it was Fortnite that took over. And then. Fortnite, Fortnite, right. Fortnite, Fortnite. Yeah. And then Apex came in for like two months, I think, a month oh, or two months. That. Yeah, I don't know. Like it, like it was everywhere. It was like I never got into it though. And then Fortnite was Fortnite, Fortnite. And then as soon as like it hits like season seven ish, it slowly started to die down. That's when I stopped I starting to play it. I think there's two reasons why. I think one of them is that a lot of the community is like following those like big streamers and once they started to sound to motivate they're like okay whatever this game is shit yeah and then also okay have you I, i'm assuming you've seen like have you seen like the smp live series oh yeah that's also helping minecraft yeah. a lot because also lot with the hype like yeah. hypixel youtubers and like just minecraft youtubers in general like oh my gosh they're growing so fast Look you at you fruit berries. fruit berries. Exactly. He he's just, he got grown. 30 k subs in a, in a month, I think. Yeah. Oh. Like, he's, like, I can understand why. He's funny, first off. He's, I've talked to him personally. And, like, just he's us a good calling. Like, just, like, yeah, like, oh, yeah. He, he's, he's like, super nice. He, he had, like, have you, he made that, that Obsidian box shop. That was him, right? Like, oh, he, he creates so many tracks. He's, like, a, he's like a, yeah. a revamped defib, kind of. Or if Veggie actually posted youtube videos because he like i remember Dude, playing with him up on YouTube, oh my god i miss defib though like he never talked but like his traps were insane oh created that lumberjack sax and then after that like no one ever did it because it was so obvious everything's obvious now literally so you kind of can't trap anymore on well you no, can no. but like it's on hype actually you can't on reddit you can oh on reddit people are not the brightest people because they don't play UHC on Hypixel. So literally, Hypixel is a mix of bow spamming, cheaters, and trapping. Yeah, pretty I think that basically sums up Hypixel UHC in like three words, basically. Ugh. I, mean, I think Long. that's basically the entire cheater topic. Like, Long live Hypixel. <laughs> the only thing that you can really say is that if they were to maybe like have like player councils and then have them be have a special role in uhc to spectate to yeah. uh, that would mean that you're trusting someone to have the command to like get people out of the game which you could abuse if you really fell into the wrong hands you know? yeah but i like i wish hypixel and like other because they're like the biggest server right now because they overpassed Mindplex a long time ago. And, <laughs> like, they, since they are, they make a lot of money, a lot of money, they need, like, they could probably invest in, like, creating, like, a really, really, like, good anti cheat or something. Like, yeah, they have Watchdog, but, like, it's also they bans random that players that falsely, and then it doesn't even catch half the players that are cheating, so. That's overall, overall terrible. Like e even worse if you look at Rank Sky Wars. Like oh my god, the, I literally like whenever Rank Sky Wars first came out, it wasn't bad at all, and then now it's basically impossible to play. If you look, I think you, I think it was you told me that a few days ago OFN was like on the entire leaderboard. Uh huh. Is that really a surprise? Because OFN's literally everywhere on every leaderboard. Because look at this, they have yellow tag. It's like oh my god, they're so good. And it's like they don't cheat. 
Even though there's a guy that's in that guild called Cheat, like Cheater Boy or something. It's like, um, yeah, it's, it's bad. and then also just the players in it. Yeah, like some of them don't cheat. Not all of them cheat. I'm not hating on all of them, but also most of the people in that guild hate me anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> I can talk as much trash about it as I want, so, <laughs> I guess, I mean, I think that about sums up the topic for the first podcast, though. So. Yay, first podcast. I don't know if you have anything to add, but I think that's basically the entire cheater. Yeah, well, if you all have something else, like another topic for us to cover, leave it down below. Anything about Hypixel, YouTubers about Hypixel... Reddits, if anything like that, just comment below. So, also, join our Discord if you want to talk to us about stuff because we're in here pretty frequently, actually. Yeah, because so, yeah. we have no lives, so. Huh. Yeah, if I'm if I don't respond, I'm most likely at work or sleeping. So. Yeah, that's what I'm doing three fourths of the time now since school's over. Another year of hell has gone by for everybody. Congrats for all of you that it's are that graduating. Bad. It's like, haha, <laughs> me. Thank Jesus. I've spent 13 years basically in school. I'm done. <laughs> for one year and then going back for five. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys. We'll be back for the second episode. We have some ideas, but like you said, we would like to hear any topics, topic. basically. So, yeah. See you then. Bye.